Hi everyone. Welcome back to Berkshire Farm. My name's Frank. As a lot of you that been has been following us already know, uh, Jackie and I bought a used RV. This is a 2004 Flagstaff. And from the very first day that we got it, we brought it out here on the property. We hooked it up to our well, and it just it wouldn't. Once we turned the water on, no water would go in. Nothing. It just pressurized the hose, and nothing would go into the tank. So I did some research online. We found out that in the city water connection here, it has a, a valve inside of it. And with that valve, I believe it's a, a anti-reverse valve or something like some type of a pressure valve. And what it does, it allows water to go in but not come back out. And evidently on ours, it's either damaged or stuck or, or something. But, uh, but it, it will not allow water to go inside the system at all. So I went online after researching it. And I ended up purchasing this right here. And it is a replacement valve. I'll put a link down below. Click the link and it'll take you right to this part on Amazon. I also, while I was there, I went ahead and purchased one of these as well. And it's for an RV. And this is a pressure regulator. It will not allow more than about anywhere between 40 and 50 pounds of pressure to enter into the, uh, into the travel trailer. It, it regulates the pressure. So, you know, sometimes if you get too much pressure, you can, you can blow lines in these things. So it, it will not allow any more than a, between about 40 and 50 pounds at the most, max. Then while I was also there, I picked up one of these. And all it is, it's a 90 degree. It's got a male and a female end. And I will also put a link down below for this. This is going to be so that when we bring the hose over, instead of the hose sticking out, straight out, being connected and, and crimping, because a lot of times that's what happens, is they just crimp down and, and, and restrict the water. So all this is gonna do is just help the hose come in nice and straight and then make the turn with this. So these are really simple. All we're gonna do is there's three screws here. Oh wow, it's coming right off by itself. Look at that. Um, I know that what they rec what I've seen recommended for this is to reinstall it with something called butyl tape. And I have used butyl tape. It is really good. It stays really moist. It lasts for a very long time. Now it looks like to me like they didn't even use butyl tape on this. They used just like a putty tape. That's why it's coming off. Yeah, I'll clean that up real good. Looks like I'm gonna have enough line I'll do is just take some channel or some uh, vice grips here. I'm gonna grab a hold of this inside like that. And then take this. Oh wow, that's not even hardly on there all that hard at all. Before we go too far, we'll get some Teflon tape on these threads. And when you put Teflon on, you want to be sure that the end of the Teflon ends in the direction that you're, you're threading it on. If not, it's going to tend to want to unwrap on you. I don't know if that really made much sense, but what I'm talking about is you can see as I come around, when I break this off, it's going to be, it's going to be here and you looking at it, it's going to basically I'm going clockwise so that when I turn this in clockwise, it's not going against the end, it's going with the end. Like that. All right, now I know there's some water in here, so I'm gonna have to be pretty quick about it, I think. We'll see. May not be too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Hmm. 
Now what I'm gonna be sure to do is as I tighten this on, I'm gonna bring it around to where the original screw holes line back up pretty close, pretty close to where they line back up where they were. That way I can go right back into the original screw hole. So I'll clean this up a little bit here. Let's get some of this harder stuff off. What works really good is just take like a, a, a putty knife, scrape it off real good. And I've even seen some people use like a WD-40. You spray a little WD-40 on it and it cleans all this old stuff off real good. The only problem I see with that is that I would think it would be a little bit hard for a new sealant to stick. You can take you know, either some silicone that I mentioned. Um, I believe they do recommend a, a butyl tape. Butyl tape is really good. I've used it before. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on any on the account that uh, it was quite a ways away from where we are. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of silicone caulking. I'll go around it with some silicone caulking and clean it up real good. I'm going to go right back, right back in the original holes. I don't want to make any new holes. And there it is, nothing to it. We'll get this trailer hooked up. We will finally have constant running water without having to worry about the pump. Now, what I'm gonna do is take this. That's going to be just fine. All right, and then my pressure regulator. That's going to work out just fine. And then here on the bottom, you can see this turns so that when the hose on it, we just turn it on tight. All right, it's gonna work out real well. So as you can see, I've got our water line all hooked up. The water is on. We have absolutely no leaks. We're very pleased with everything that we purchased. As I'd mentioned in the beginning of the video, I did a lot of research and I never really found anything that pertained to what we had going on with with no water entering the, the water system of the, of the travel trailer. Most of everything I, I came across was someone, they were talking about how well, the, when they put potable water in on the potable side, that water would spit out here or things like that. But never, not anything that pertained to exactly what we were dealing with without here. So I hope this, this video was, was really helpful to a lot of people. And, or if this video was helpful to you, please take a minute and hit that like button. It sure helps us out here on the farm. It gets our videos out in front of more people. And by all means, we'd love for you to subscribe. Follow us out here as we build our barn dominium house and we develop our, our farm. So again, thank you very much for clicking on our channel. And until next time, have a blessed day.